Are you serious? Are you serious? Of course, we have breaking news. I've talked about already during my live uh, broadcast, Sunday Night Live broadcast. But let's get an update, of course. The white van driver plowed into these uh, people again, walking on the streets. At least 10 people have been run over. I think there's more than that at the well-known Finsbury Park Mosque in the new London uh, terror attack. Here we go again. London, England, again under another terror attack. Uh, Before the Muslims finish their evening prayers, they've got the uh, suspect tackled and down on the ground. A van plowed into a crowd on the Seven Sisters Road near the Finsbury Park Mosque. Muslims were leaving the late night prayers being observed for the month of Ramadan when a white man was pictured on Twitter being arrested by officers at the scene. It's believed the victims were helping a man who had collapsed at the bus stop. Uh, More than 10 pedestrians have been hit. I repeat, more than 10 have been hit by a white van driver who veered onto the pavement near a renowned North London mosque in what is being described as a terrorist attack. Several people were reportedly hurt after the van plowed into the crowd outside of the Finsbury Park Mosque where hate cleric Abu Hazma once preached as they finished the Ramadan evening prayers there. Eyewitnesses reported seeing bystanders wrestling the suspect to the floor and pinning him down until the officers arrived. Others suggested the congregation of victims were trying to save a man who had collapsed at the bus stop. So we're not sure exactly what's going on. Was it a white man that ran over the Muslim uh, 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 worshipers that come out of the mosque? Or was it another Muslim running over the uh, Muslims coming out of the mosque because he doesn't like Well, we have radical Muslims who hate moderate Muslims. Was that the situation? Well, we still don't know. I'm looking at a picture of uh, there are people that are dead. I see sheets over top of people that are believed to be fatalities, several fatalities here. We don't know exactly how many people have been run over. We don't know exactly how many people are dead. And we don't know exactly how many people are hurt, but there's quite a few people injured and quite and uh, and several who have been also killed in this horrific scene again in London there's confusion now because uh, the motive behind it and all of that it's going to take some time to get this information I'm praying to God that it's not people uh, that are let's say uh, residents of London who are not part of the migrant community that have come into London I'm praying to God it's not a retaliation against Islam because if it is, folks, you think it's been bad now, it could get a whole lot worse. We're out of control. The the real problem has been the migrant crisis, the immigration policies of the EU, the open door policies that has created this chaotic situation. And now people are taking matters into their own hands. And this is a very, 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 very dangerous time. We're in the last days. Truly pray one for another. We had 22 people saved during our Sunday night live broadcast. We had a powerful time in the Lord. And Stephen Benin was on early in the broadcast from the Czech Republic. We talked about a lot of powerful things. It would be a great broadcast to watch. I just recorded it. It's here at my YouTube channel. I'm also interviewing Rabbi Yehuda Glick on my television networks tonight. If you're in any of the following cities, you could see it tonight. If you have direct TV, you can watch it. It comes on at 10.30 p.m. Eastern, or you can catch it on all, uh, in Indianapolis, South Bend, New Orleans, Tulsa, Colorado Springs, or Honolulu tonight, any of those cities. And uh, I just hope you really check it out. It's a powerful interview, two parts on television. If you can't, if you can't see it, it will be airing on this YouTube channel tomorrow night. Okay, God bless all of you. Pray for London.